welcome back. It is now December again. Uh, last month in November, sold the eggs for $10,172. Uh, this month I sold the straw off our barley field for $12,494. Uh, our loan interest payment has gone down. It was cut in half. I believe that's half of what it is because we paid off half of our loan. And if we make enough with the flour after purchasing the bakery today, I'll pay off the rest of that loan. But I want to make sure we have enough to buy this bakery. Our flour is done running. We ended up with 34,000 liters of flour. And that's from two years of the barley harvest. Um, because this year has already processed. So we are going to sell this all at the bakery. We are getting what kind of price? This should be the best price. That's why we're doing it now. Oh, I guess next month would be slightly better. But what's the bakery offering? 1973 Yeah, it only tops out like $20 different. So that's fine. So I'm going to drive us over to the bakery. I'm... Um, Hoping our tractor can pull this fine. It should be fine. Got a little messy at the end there with loading these. That last one tried to fall off, but caught it with the straps, so we're good. Oh, I also got us a new baler and a new bale trailer, if you didn't notice. Uh, sold the old ones, and I got a new one. It's actually a round baler. It's this guy here. Um, if I pull that up. Or you can see it. Do to do, do to do, do. It's this guy. It only makes the one size, 125 centimeter, but they're they're bigger than those little hay bales, and um, I was able to load them all onto this one trailer easily. I think I had one layer and then maybe one on top. So it seemed like a good investment. Especially if we do end up getting into grass work or anything like that on this farm. Those are both good investments. But I'll drive us over to the bakery, and I'll see you when we get there. Alright, here we are at the bakery. Turn in here, maybe without hitting the sign. Ah, we hit it anyway. Okay. Turn in here, it should take the one off the fork, yep. Wait for that one to go starting to take them off the trailer already so we'll just pull up in here we'll probably have to um glide this forward a bit or maybe even back out and turn around to get them all yeah, there's a fence here but oh, we can go closer to the fence will we get all of them Yes. So, 39000 for that, plus there was the initial one, one and a half. What did that end up being? It was 67000 Was that the whole thing? 67113 for the flour, which is good, because I think this bakery is only 50000 These... Uh, trailers with the turntable in, in the front are notoriously hard to back with because the got multiple pivot points. So to keep them straight while backing or anything is tough. We want to go. Nope, we want to go the other way without hitting the building. If we get them that way, and then we turn and back that way. We've gone too far a little bit. All right. Get back in front of those tires. Push it straight. See if we get those tires back around in front of the trailer. We'll follow the tires around. And at least we're on the street, right? Keep going, we're going to go too far. That's okay. We're just going to pull up here in front of the bakery.
notoriously hard to back with any accuracy. This one's not as bad as some of the others because it's pretty long. The longer a trailer is, the easier it is to back up. But, West Hill Bread. Let's buy it. Yes, it is 50000 So now that we've bought it, we'll go in here. We can look, see, this one has multiple recipes. The cake we're going to deactivate because we're not going to be making cake. We're just making bread. We have 33,991 liters of flour. It takes two flours to make a bread. And that does that 2,160 cycles a month. So that's 4,320 flour a month. So we have, what, eight, eight and a half months, something like that. Eight months worth of flour that it'll just keep making bread. We'll let this run. It'll cost us $60 a month while it's running. Um, when you do run out of productions, which if we go into that uh, menu, just escape, and then it's the little conveyor belt menu, shows you all of your productions. Uh, the barley, since we don't have any barley in there now, we made it all. It deactivated it. I'm not sure if it charges you monthly if you have it activated, but it's not actually doing anything because you don't have the input. But better safe than sorry, I just turn off any ones that I'm not actively using because I don't want to get charged for things that I'm not using. Uh, the only bad thing about this setup on this map is our pallets will spawn here, and there's not a lot of room to work, so we'll definitely have to maybe come at them from the side and pick them up and bring them over. We are going to leave this on storing, which is what it's doing right now. Uh, down here, bread is storing, and that'll spawn pallets, and then we can wait until, oh, let's see, next January to sell them at 5,300 apiece, and we'll see, that was two loads of barley. Um, we can go back to the other videos and see exactly how many liters we got off the first harvest and then the second harvest was basically identical to that so just double it and yeah so I'll bring you back when it's time to sell our bread I'll see you in just a moment okay so this is going to be our last one let's get it on here There we go. Wrap that one up. We got basically an entire trailer load. Let's go hook up to our trailer. And we will see who's buying our bread. I think there's two or three... What was it? Three separate places that will potentially buy bread. The grocery store, I think the... Um, the restaurant maybe the farmers market Look that up all right let's see where we're gonna take our bread yeah the grocery store yeah the farmers market and oh the uh, the bowling alley the farmers market has the best price right now five thousand six hundred and seven so let's take it there we ended up with thirteen thousand liters of bread or 13,000 loaves of bread, or whatever it measures. So I'll get this over to the farmer's market, and I'll see you there. Okay, we're at the farmer's market. So we have the 13,000 liters of bread, which I think ended up being three harvests of barley. I harvested the barley three times, but... Yeah, there's still 31,000 liters of flour in the restaurant. It's fairly slow compared to, like, the mill. The mill runs much quicker. It does, you know, 113 liters of flour 120 times a month, whereas the bread uses 
two liters of flour, 2,000 times a month. What is that, 10,000 liters a month? I don't know. Anyway, the bakery is much slower. But we're going to go ahead and sell all the bread. See what we get off of this. So this is maybe two full harvests worth of barley that has been turned into bread as of yet. Try to keep it in the trigger so it all sells at once. There we go. And we made $72,923. So that is a substantial increase uh, over over just selling the barley. More than makes up for the fifty thousand that we spent on the grain mill, and then the no the ninety six thousand we spent on the grain mill, the fifty thousand we spent on the bakery. Um, in just our first one, we've made a good bit of that back. Plus, we sold. The flour to the grain mill we sold the or we sold the barley to the grain mill and we sold the flour to the bakery the flour that we sold to the bakery i think we made sixty thousand off of that so that paid for all of the bakery plus some it's just it it works out a lot better let me look at our money money so i did a contract a couple contracts earlier oh that must have been month before yeah i did fifteen thousand dollars worth of contracts and got forty got almost forty thousand dollars worth of sold bales and that was two of those same three fields that we did last time it was just grass work but we made seventy two thousand dollars off that we now have over a hundred thousand dollars our loans are paid off and we are all set up so i ended up buying one more field um because we had the money for it. So I bought field 48 to expand a little bit. Uh, last season, I grew sorghum again on 44 because we were getting low on it. So the, the little field that's right behind the chickens. And we still have, what do we have right now? It'll be in here, sorghum. Yeah, so we have 4,000 liters. That's probably enough to get through. I'm thinking every other year I could probably plant sorghum there if we just keep that. And the chickens are just a little bit of extra income and something to keep the farmyard active and nice. Uh, they're not really ever going to make us money with just 30 chickens. We would have to get a much bigger, get the second tier because what's that? 100 chickens or something? 360. So yeah, 360 chickens you could potentially make decent money off the eggs but 30 chickens is just something nice to have around the farmyard uh, but that's it for the production chain like I said we're all set up now got all the equipment we need I did end up buying a larger um, harvester head for our harvester so we can harvest quicker and I bought a, a round baler, which I think I told you about before when I bought this trailer. And I think that's it. Our loan is paid off. So we are now self-sufficient. We own the bakery. We own the mill. If we keep making barley, feed it into the mill. And then have our flour. I've got the flour right now set to go directly. It's distributing here it is so yes it's set as distributing down here so I just put the barley in to the mill and then it comes out as bread at the bakery and yeah I mean it's nice and then I can sell the bread if we wanted to do even less maintenance and care with this setup we could set the bread to just sell from the bakery and even with a little bit of shipping fee or whatever it is um, and not selling at the highest time you still would probably make a substantial profit and you'd make that 
<clears throat> excuse me, you'd make that month over month. So instead of having one big payday at the end of the year, you'd have money trickling in every month as it made bread and then sold it. So that might be a good way to do it. And $100,000 isn't a ton in game, but it is certainly nothing to turn your nose up at, you know, and do that a couple of times. And we'll be having decent enough money to buy more land, start a different type of farming, you know, buy some cows, buy some sheep, something along those lines, and get into something else, expand, get a better tractor, get a nice truck, do all sorts of stuff. But yeah, now our farm is self-sustaining, we've got all the tools we need, the only thing from here would be upgrades upgrades or getting into something different yeah I'm happy with it so I'll park this right here yeah that, that that's it that's the basics we've gotten a, a farm from day one to being able to make us money it is now a profitable farm um the next episode I will do one more episode in this series and that is going over mods um, it'll just be a discussion of where to find mods how to use them how to find them on the internet and get them on your computer and then what some of my favorite mods are I'm not going to go over the specifics of how each mod works or anything like that um, just give you the general information because you could spend days and weeks searching through mods because there's thousands of mods for this game but this right here proved you don't need them to make a profitable farm thank you guys so much for watching this series I really appreciate all the support you've been showing me in the comments and I hope to see you guys again very soon have a great time farming, and good luck.